this is Ruth and today I've got the Delicate Floral Hummingbirds Etched Die Set designed by my lovely friend Baby Cameron for Spellbinders. This is really really beautiful. I hope you've already seen the other video that I did with another one of her uh, hummingbird collection. It was the pop-up hum hummingbird and I posted that video just a little while ago. So if you haven't seen that one do certainly go back and check that because I think you'll love that as well. Anyhow this is the second die set of babies that I'm actually using and I just want to give you a quick look through it first of all. Have a, we'll have a little look and see what all you can do with it and then I'm going to show you how to make a couple of cards. I've really really enjoyed this because I absolutely love flowers and birds as I said before and I hope that enthusiasm rubs off on you too because you can just use this for so many different things and in so many different ways. It's actually so exciting just to get stuck into it and come up with some new ideas for it. New to me anyway. So if you haven't already done it, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. And that way you'll not miss any of these videos as they come up. I've got lots of playlists there and you can have a little mosey through them and see what you think. There's sure to be something to uh, tickle your fancy if you are a crafter at all. I have some spellbinders and tonic and then all sorts of different things. And I do think you'll find something there that you'll like. So uh, my affiliate links for this as well will be down in the description if you do think that you'd like to try this as well. Right, now on to the die set. This is the main part here and it actually consists of two separate dies. And if you just cut this one out, you will get this beautiful background shape here. And it has lovely little uh, fuchsia heads here and leaves here and here. And that makes a beautiful background, which you can then uh, take the two dies together and cut another panel out and when you use both of them together you'll get this beautiful shape here I'll just move this over and you can back that one straight onto there and right away you've almost got a card made there's very little else that you'll need to do to that one uh, turn it the right way up helps <laughs> so there you are that's it before you go any further you can obviously then add lots and lots of pieces in here but before I do that I want to show you that you can use these two in different ways again. So you've got number one, you've got the back panel on its own. If you just use this die, then if you use these two together, you will get this. But if you just want to use this one on its own and you pop it into your card front, it will give you this beautiful pattern here. And that just looks like a laser cut. It's really, really fine and delicate. And you just achieve that by setting this onto your card front and running it through your die cutting machine obviously with the card open so that you don't damage the back of it so there's lots of different ways you can use that as well and I'll be showing you that very soon you can back this on here and have this on top uh, then you can obviously add this on top of here you can have a little drop shadow anyway there's so many things you can do and I will come back to that in a moment or two but I'm just wanting to have a little look at the rest of the dies because not only do you get this but you get all these little dies as well. So I'm just going to tell you what they are. These are the bodies of the birds and you can cut these out and pop them on top here. So I'll show you on here. This is my die cut and these bodies cut out and you can go ahead and glue that on there. You'll also get the head and the beak there and I have that cut out as well. That's just here. And that just fits in there. There you are. And then we've got the little head, which you can also cut out and put on top of that. And you'll get the little eye piece in this because that can cut out a little dot. Or you can simply draw that little eye on with a black pen or a little uh, crystal drop or something like that. Then these pieces are the wings. Those are really, really beautiful. Look at that. I've cut them out in a uh, sugar crystal card. And look they just go on there like that and likewise you can do the same with the ones down here but more of that in a moment or two this then is the tail piece and we've got two different two of those and one will go on here and one will go on here but you know how i like flowers and i usually see them in most things i looked at that and i thought not only does it make the beautiful tail for the little hummingbird but if you cut it out in a different color Look, you get little daisies or rudbeckias or whatever. I've done them like little rudbeckias with inking around the edge of the petals there and brown in the centre. But wouldn't those be absolutely beautiful as well in white with pink around here and yellow in the centre? 
and you have lovely daisies and you could put stems coming from down here and put quite a few of them and make a little card with that as well. Now this one here is really really beautiful. I absolutely love fuchsias as I'm sure if you know me at all you'll know that and these two pieces go together to make the fuchsia so you've got that and that and then you've got the little stamen and obviously that will just tuck up in behind there. I've got some of these cut out but I'm going to show you them very very soon. Oh, actually do you know I'll just show you them now. There's a pink one and there's the white for the scent the little petals down in here and then I've cut the little stamens again here in white in pink and that will go just like that but if you fancy layering those up and making them a little bit more dimensional you can certainly do that and there's a beautiful little dimensional fuchsia there and you can flick these little petals up and I've run a little ball till in behind this one and emboss those as well and you've got lots of dimension because I've also put little foam pads in there so you can have these as flat and as simple as you like or you can have them just as layered as you like as well but that is how you make the fuchsia those are the tails the birds tiny little flowers then that will go on here somewhere I can't just see where they are at the moment but I'm sure those will become more obvious in a minute or two this then is the little fuchsia bud it's really really beautiful and there that's what that looks like when it's cut out as well and then we have these little leaves and those then you can cut out and add on to the tops of some of the leaves around here around the outside edges and they also look fantastic as little leaves if you cut out a stem and add these leaves on with those little flowers as well so i am going to just get started and make a lovely card with this i really like the idea of that little drop shadow on there so i'm just going to Move this larger die over slightly to the right and leave a little piece of white showing there because it just gives a little bit of definition, especially if you're going to add another colour on at the back here. And now I'm just going to glue that directly on top. I want to add some inking onto the wings and the body and the head of the little bird but I don't want to add it all over so I have cut this out in, Chris in glitter card and then I'm just going to use a little uh, brush here and brush those edges in and I've already got one here and I'm going to glue it then onto the top of that so just around the head and on here. Before you actually add the little beak onto the body of the bird you just want to make sure that it actually lines up with the little beak on here that's the most important thing so you can actually either glue the head on here directly and then you'll glue this part over the top and it will be in the right place or you can just glue it on here and hold it over here and make sure you have it all assembled right as well and then obviously you can go ahead and glue the rest of this on now I have just added a little dot for the eye and I did that with a fine liner pen and I'm just going to do exactly the same thing with this one. that I've just been putting glue on the inside part of the wings here and not adding it to the edges and that's because I want to give a little bit of dimension so I can just pop that on there and then take a little pokey tool or something and hold this piece down and flick that back and that just gives a little bit of dimension to those wings and um, they're still really beautiful if they're flat but I think that looks really really nice as well and you can see there I've done it with these others and they will come up a little bit more once that glue dries. I don't want to push it too hard just at the moment but we're going to put the tails and the wings on before the little body goes on because that way everything's tucked nicely in behind. Now 
I've cut out six of these and you actually only need three for the card but I'm going to double them up a little bit and I'll show you that in a moment after I have uh, added some ink to them and some ink around the bottom of these and some on the little uh, buds as well then we'll, we'll come back to that one. just going to add a little bit of colour onto the leaves before I add those on as well. That'll get all the inking out of the road at the one time and then I'll be able to assemble everything after that. Now you can actually just go straight away in with the fuchsias like that and add them straight on and add the little stamens but I thought oh isn't that actually really lovely I actually thought I would like to add a little bit of dimension to them as well so I, that's why I've cut out double here and I'm just going to nip off that little part there up at the top and then turn that over and just give it a little bit of dimension with a ball tool and I'm going to add some little 3D foam pads in there and then attach that straight on to the other little fuchsia part that is there with these little sepals on it. So I'm putting that down in, well, up there. And there. And then I've just cut one smaller and that's going on there. And now I'm going to add that on there, but I actually do want a little bit of glue along the bottom edge of it as well just so that it sits down in there and then I can add the other little fuchsia part with the little petals and the little pieces after that. So a tiny little bit of glue in there. And then I'm going to add two little white pieces onto the bottom with this in the centre. So you really just, if you want to add just one, all you need to do is put glue on that little round piece there and pop it up in behind there and that's you good to go. But I thought I would like another little one in behind. So I'm just going to put glue on there, just on the top again and move it over slightly so that the petals aren't all just aligned at the bottom. And glue them on here. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the others so I've got one here and here and then I've got the little buds and whatnot on there so I'm just going to go ahead and add those on. I'm sure you saw how I added a little bit of lift to these leaves but I'm going to show you that in a little bit more detail here. So I've put a tiny little foam pad right up at the tip and some glue down in this end here and then just find the leaf that it's supposed to go over the top of and press down in here and you'll get that little bit of dimension coming up at the end. And there it is and I've got lots and lots of dimension on that and I'm not sure if it's totally visible on the video but it's really really full of dimension in real life here and I'm really really pleased with that I think it's it's a beautiful beautiful dye now I think it's really really gorgeous just the way it is and I've sort of hemmed and had a little bit about how I should finish that because I quite like it just like that and then I thought I might like to have just a tiny little bit more colour so I have cut a piece of card which is just one centimetre bigger than the width of this and scored it down at one centimetre and it's just slightly shorter in length 
and you can see here now I'm actually going to show you how this would look if I had glued this directly on it would make that quite flat uh, just like that and if I put um, the glue <laughs> if I attach it on this way that would also look quite flat but I'm going to turn it around and put the glue tab down here I've got some uh, high tack tape on there just set it in fold it over and there you are and it means that there's a kind of a little bit of lift in between this layer and this layer and you can obviously open this one and you'll be able to write whatever you want in there but it gives you that beautiful dimension and the sort of uh, airy feeling of that but it also covers what's in here and adds a little bit of colour as well so I hope you like that I absolutely love it well done Bibi for designing it and thank you very much for sending it to me Well, I actually didn't notice when I was making that that I put the wing for this bird in behind there. So I was able to just put my pokey tail in and bring that out. And the wing really should be sitting up there. And now it's all looking good again. Well, it's definitely one of those die sets that is going to torture me because there's so many different things you can do with it. And I've just alluded to a few of them at the beginning there, but you could obviously have just a bunch of these beautiful fuchsias hanging down from the top. You don't need any birds or you could use the birds on its own or whatever. But obviously because I've made a big card, I just thought I really want to make a smaller one. So I cut the die cut out yet again. And you can see here that I've nipped this off. So I've just literally just trimmed it off around some little areas there and taken the little leaves off to make sure all the little pieces are looking good. And there's one there that just needs a little trim off. And now I'm going to put that on an A6 card this time and we're going to have it coming from there right down, uh, just down here and then I'll stamp a sentiment in here or even put a die cut sentiment or something in. But I'm not putting any panels or anything on. I'm going to glue that on directly and then add some more fuchsias and the bird and whatnot on top of that. I really love die sets that you can use for a big card like that and then you can adapt it to uh, use for a smaller one as well. So not only is this one smaller, but it's a lot more simple than the last one. I've kept everything pretty flat and uh, I've gone ahead and glued the things on because it's really, really quick and easy to do. So you can see there that I've uh, already put the little head on and I've put the fuchsias on. I added an extra fuchsia on here and an extra bud on here. And now I'm just going to put the wings on and then do the body as well. But do you know the thing about this is you can just use whatever colours you like and really, really play and enjoy yourself with ink or whatever type of medium you like to use to colour those because you could use alcohol markers and you could use ink. You can just use a plain coloured card and that would be really, really beautiful as well. But there you are. I'm going to do some inking onto this. I think I'll move that over so that I don't get any ink on it. And uh, I'll add some onto the body of the little bird here. Oh, I just love this. <laughs> that card all finished now and it's a very very simple and straightforward card and then you can see that the other piece where I nipped this off is also in the little packet there I always keep all my die cuts that I don't use in a little envelope and it's there so I can snip off more pieces and make a different card from that and it'll look totally different to this one as well and obviously then you can just go crazy and enjoy yourself with all the different colours of fuchsias that you might like. I've got lots and lots of fuchsias in the garden. I used to collect all different types of them and I keep them indoors over the winter as well and I'm really looking forward to having them all back out again for the summer. So that has just put me in the real notion for that again. And there we are. That's the, the one with more, much more dimension on it. So that was me all finished as I thought but then I decided I'd just add one more little thing in and I used the tail pieces from here and here 
in white with a little bit of pink around the edges just inked on with my little brush again and some alcohol marker in the centre there and made a lovely little tag using these as daisies and as I said earlier on those look really really beautiful in pink uh, here with the pink and white but they're gorgeous in that sort of orangey yellowy colour as well. I just noticed another thing too that if you use these little flowers <laughs> I'm calling them flowers already I'll turn this over so you can see it better but if you just layered these up like this you could have green here and then the stem coming down and you'd have a flower heading up the way this time so you could have all these little flowers as well instead of the daisies going that way so either way you're going to get a lot of use out of that and those little uh, just little strips of card for the stems and then I added the leaves in. I am quite sure if you have a look at those dies you'll think of lots of other ways of using them as well but that's just what I love in a die set. The versatility to do lots of different things, different sizes and uh, depending on what time you want to spend on the card you can do that too. So I hope you've enjoyed that. I certainly have and I know that's one die set that I'll be coming back to time and time again because it's just got everything I love on it. So thank you very, very much for watching. Don't forget, if you haven't subscribed already, to do that. But there'll be lots and lots of photos of these at the end of the video. I've only added a couple at the start. And my affiliate links for everything I've used will be down below in the description. I'd really love you to give it a thumbs up if you enjoy it. And leave me a comment and let me know what kind of thing you like here. Do you like a quick, smaller card or something that's more involved? Or is that something uh, like the way I would do it? just depending on the notion I'm in on the day and how much time I have. Right, I'm all done. Thank you very, very much in the meantime. Happy crafting. Bye bye.